Hey everyone, I am Nitij and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I will talk about the higher order functions in the C-sharp language. So before you start thinking, a function and a method are basically the same in the C-sharp language. And a higher order function is a function which can accept other functions or methods as an argument and it can also return the functions as return values. So if in any programming language, a function is treated in such a way that it could be assigned to another variables or it could be sent as an argument to other methods or it could be returned as a return value from methods, then those functions are basically termed as the first class citizens in any programming language. So there are so many different uh, languages which has this feature like C sharp and JavaScript etc. So in this video I will uh, explain to you how we can create higher order functions and this is going to be a multi-part series. So this is the first video so I am just going to cover the basics and in the next upcoming videos I will try to show you some examples and some best practices along with some programming patterns in which the higher order functions are very useful so let's get started so I am simply going to create a higher order function and this function is going to accept another another function or another method as an argument so for that let's create a method first static and then it's not going to return anything so static void and then let's just name it higher order function all right now this is an empty method and we can simply call it by simply writing its name and that's it now in order for this function or this method to accept another method as an argument we need to provide the the name and type of the method so any uh, method could be of two types it could be uh, it could be either of type which uh, which is not returning any value or it could be a type which is returning any value and in this video i am going to cover the types action and func so action and func are both the types of anonymous methods and they are they both work in uh, usually the same way but the difference is that action method types don't return a value but func method types can return a value so first let's start with the action type so let's suppose that we are going to send in a method as an argument which is going to accept two integers as a as an argument so for that i can type first action and then for the argument part of this method itself i can provide the type of the arguments and then we need to give the name so I'm just going to name it let's say action method and that's it now what we can simply do is we can call this action method from inside this higher order function and we also have to supply the integer argument so we can send in any dummy value and that's it now you can see there is an error over here so uh, the compiler is simply telling us to provide an argument when we are calling this method so for that what we can do is we can create an action type of method first and then we can send this method as an argument so let's do this and I think I'm going to name it let's say test action method and these are going to be numbers so let's name them number one and number two and then it's time to give them a body and that's it so the uh, action methods don't return anything they are kind of a void method and then we can do anything like that so let's say that I'm just simply writing to the console that uh, this is uh, being 
this code is being called from an action method let's say this code and so on okay so this was the uh, action type of the methods and then we can simply send this test action method as an argument to this higher order function so this higher order function is accepting an action method type with two integer arguments so everything is matching and then we can simply call this method from this higher order function and that's it okay so okay so right now uh, this method is not returning anything right so the thing is that uh, if we want to return a value from a method which we want to send in as an argument then we can use the func type instead of the action type so the func type is uh, usually uh, written in the same way but we also have to provide the type of the value which we want to return from the uh, func method itself so this syntax of func is similar to action so uh, let's say that we want to implement the same method with two integer arguments but this time we want to return another integer as a return value so what we can do is first we can provide the type of the return value and then we can provide the type of the arguments and let's name it test func method and similarly it is going to you know what I'm just going to copy this entire code to save some time okay so right now there is an error over here because uh, we are not returning anything so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to return the addition of number one and number two and that's it now in order to uh, use this func we can have another higher order function so I'm going to rename this as uh, with action argument then let's have another one for the func type of argument and then we need to match the arguments and the return type of the of the func method that we want to send in as an argument alright now what we can do is we can you know get the value in another variable and then we can do something with the value if we want to so such as we can output the result to the console and so on based on our requirements and to call this method we can simply now send in this test func method as an argument instead of the action method and that's it so in this way we can create higher order functions which are accepting another functions as an argument so this is a pretty big deal because so many uh, different design patterns revolve around this this feature of programming languages uh, we can create closers using the uh, higher order functions and the uh, and by using functions as first class citizens of any programming language and that's it so uh, you know what let's just see how they are uh, you know running and how the output is looking on the console so uh, I'm just going to run the code and these two method are, um, these two methods are going to get called so uh, first first one is the action message because we are first calling the actions higher order function and then the funks higher order function is being called and then along with that the result is being uh, written to the console and yeah that's it so I think it's pretty much clear now let's come to the point where we can create higher order functions which are 
also going to return another function so for that what we can do is we can either modify these methods or you know what I'm just going to create a new one so that you know you can easily understand the functionality behind them so okay so if we want any higher order function to return another function then we need to supply the type of the function that we want to return so the type is basically uh, the information which is associated with the types of arguments and the return value so if we are going to return a method or a function which is not going to return anything then we can use the action type or if we are going to return a function which is again going to return a value then we have to use the func type because action types cannot return anything so let's first uh, see the example of an action type so let's say that we want to return a, a function and an anonymous function uh, which is you know what I'm just going to use the same example as above which is going to return a method with two integer arguments and then I'm going to name it as higher order function with the action arguments oh, you know what I'm going to rename this argument as with action return value okay so this my this method is for this function is not accepting any argument but there is an error because not all code paths are returning any value so we have we simply have to return a, a method or a function with two arguments and what we can do is we can simply create an action method over here and then we can simply return it return test action method and that's it all right now we can uh, call this this method from the main method by simply calling it but the good thing is that right after calling it we can again call the return we can again call the function which is return and something is wrong over here I think okay oh yeah we have to supply two arguments right so let's say I'm just simply sending in 5 and 10 as, as arguments so I mean uh, the this function is providing us the functionality uh, so when we uh, when we are when when we don't want to associate ourselves with the exact implementation then we can simply call a function to provide an implementation for us and the function will take care of the implementation details based on the state of the application and we can simply call the method return from the from that function along with some arguments if the function requires the arguments or you know we can call it without any arguments alright so this was about the higher order function which is going to return another function which is not returning any value so I mean I don't want any of you to get confused but this is the you know very simple way to understand this so now I'm going to copy this entire thing and instead of the action I'm going to return a func type of method and then let's also rename the name of the method and then I'm simply going to copy this entire func type of method over here and that's it now the thing is uh, this all right so the the signature of the of the type of the method which we are returning must match with the specific value which we are returning from the method body I mean this this type and this type should always match and yep that's it so we can then call this in the same way from over here but this time we can also get the result so let's say and result equals to let's call this one and then along with some values the same dummy values 5 and 10 and then we can write the result on the console itself and that's it so it's pretty simple when you look at it that way but it could get confusing for people who have really no idea about how the first order functions work 
Okay, so I know I'm running this code. So the result is the same basically because the same methods are being called. Okay, there is another way to return a method instead of you know uh, declaring the uh, decla declaring and setting the method body inside a variable. We can also do something like this. We can directly return the method, and I think what we can do is um let's say i think the syntax should be right i suppose yep i think this is right and then we can you know execute whatever code we were executing in the method so right now we are not creating uh, the the the, the, met the anonymous method and and then we are not you know setting the reference inside the variable we are simply creating and returning the method in the return the statement itself this is another way of doing it so i mean it depends on your requirement how you want to approach any specific scenario in your code if we are if your requirements are straightforward you simply want to return a method based on the state of the application then you can do that or if you want to you know do something else before you want to return the method then you can decide to f first you know set the uh, set the reference of the anonymous method in, in a variable and then return the variable itself it depends on your preference okay so yep that was all i have to say about the higher order functions in this video and uh, you have seen how we can send on other methods other methods as argument and then we, how we can also return the methods as return values so that's it for this video and i hope that uh, you will like this video and if you have any questions or comments then please use the comments section and please do subscribe to my channel if you want to keep receiving the news about new videos so thank you for watching this video and I hope that you will have a great day.